Hi, I'm back. I'm really excited. I can, <laughs> I could just explode with joy right now. <laughs> or maybe just my brain. <laughs> uh, let's not have that. Otherwise, this would be a very creepy recording. But then again, who would record, who would upload a recording of a girl's brain exploding on the internet? Isn't that kind of creepy? <laughs> you all want to see a happy ending. You don't want something bad associated with the story. Anyway, uh, let me shut up, read the prologues, and then we can get on to the premium ending. Premium ending. I'm a good king. I'm a good king. When you come back from the past, Orlando sends you and Jean to one of his fathers. Save Jean from his past sorrow and loneliness. As you compare the past to the present, as you compare the present to the past, you feel sentimental. It's orange component that ties and Jean. Compote? This festival is only held once every ten years. That's right, I forgot. That's how the Le Fru Festival is. Well, let's get on to the premium. Are you sure about this ending? Absolutely. Let me have my ending. Jean's story. Before we met. Premium ending. The Book of Time conjured, conjured a wind that blew me and Sunny back to the present day Nivellan. It seemed like not much time had passed back to the, back in the present, back in the present day. My heart was still heavy with the sorrow of parting from Jean of the past. Parting with the Jean of the past. That's my, the bird tweet is my alarm. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I want to see, I want to see Jean. I wandered around the castle looking for him. Since the castle was so large, it was a pain finding anyone in it. I was searching for Jean, both in the past and now in the present. As I walked along thinking about this, Sunny called out to me. Princess! There you are! Sunny? The king is looking for you. I've been looking for him too, but I can't find him anywhere. Oh dear. He must have just missed each other. He's waiting outside. Outside? Come on, let's go. Not really sure what was going on. I followed after Sunny. When we got outside, I saw a horse-drawn I saw a horse-drawn carriage parked in front of the castle. Orlando and Scarlatana stood beside it. Aha! Our princess has arrived! Are you all going somewhere? Are you all going out somewhere? Orlando answered my question with a smile. You're the one going out. Jean appeared from the inside from inside the carriage. Jandy, they Vala together. Where is it? Orlando owns a, val a Vala in the in the east. I've been there before. It's a nice, quiet place. There are always so many people around in the castle. It's hard for us to get any time alone together. It sounds wonderful going to a Vala. Just the two of us, but is it okay? I glanced towards Orlando and he nodded. I'm the one who proposed this trip. You did? Orlando smiled wearily at my excessive surprise. Wearily. I want my king and princess to always be close to one another. This is my small present to the two of you. Thank you. Moved by Orlando's kindness, my heart felt fit to burst. Jean put his hand around my shoulders. Put his arm around my shoulders. We have Orlando's permission. So let's take some time to relax away from everything. Yes, please. Feel free not to come back for a year, your highness. <laughs> it hurts to hear you say it hurts to hear you say that. 
first you say you want a holiday, but now you don't want it to be too long. What a cap- What a caprixia- Capri- Bah, caprixia- Compr Capricious- Capricious King. I have my duties during the year, so of course I can't leave the castle for too long. It'll be fine with the court here, with the count here. No, I'm not fit to stand in for the king. See, Orlando recognizes my value. Yes, indeed. The people of Nivelheim love their king. Foolishness and all. And as I'm not so foolish as the king, so there is no way I could make do. Count, that's rude. At least use the word naive instead. It's all in how you say it. That would be ruder. <laughs> you all just say whatever you want, don't you? I don't care. I have Jandy with me. <laughs> Sean spoke. So Sean spoke. Soliloquy then wrapped his arms around me. I patted his head comfortably when Sunny spoke anxiously. Princess, are you going to be okay with just the two of you? The stress won't kill you? I'll be fine. I showed her a relaxed smile. A relaxed smile. I mean, I love Sean. I felt, his flesh, I felt his body flash with heat in his arms. He's always saying he loves me, but he gets embarrassed when I'm the one saying it about him. I love these cute parts to him, too. I see. So long as you're happy, then that's fine. I'm surprised that I, get, that I haven't gotten a love challenge, because I remember... I remember after I had completed the two parts for Skeletonus Premium Ending, I got a love challenge. Watch, I'm probably gonna get another love challenge. I'm probably gonna get the love challenge now. What did I tell you? <laughs> Good thing I have this. <laughs> Seeing the two of you rubbing your romance in our faces like this is making me unbearably jealous. I so desperately want a girlfriend who tells me she loves me too. You're a wonderful person, Skeletano, so I'm sure you'll find someone who loves you. Princess. I wish there were two of you. Oh, <laughs> What are you talking about? If there were two Jandies, they'd both be mine! <gasps> but that's not fair! <laughs> if there were two, then I'd want one to be with me! No, Jandie's already my girlfriend. So no matter how many of her there are, no matter how many of her there are, please stop fighting over hypothet... over... hypothet... hypothetical... hypo... hypo... Hypothetical, hypothetical, hypothetical. Did I say that right? I'm sorry if I'm not getting it right. Your Highness, isn't it time for you to get going? Yeah, you're right. Get in, Jandy. At Jean's urging, I climbed into the carriage. I'll leave the castle in your hands. Leave it to these bones. Take your time. Have a safe trip. Finally, the horse and carriage set off with Jean and me inside. As I was gazing out of the window while the carriage swayed, what, swayed along, Jean collapsed hold of my hand tightly. Then he started to speak slowly. This afternoon, Orlando dumped a load of administrative work on me. Well, I guess it had to be done since I'm going away. After I had finished it, I lay down on the sofa to rest and ended up falling asleep. It feels good to take a nap. It feels good to take a nap. And I had a dream. A dream of the past. I dreamt that you appeared at the most difficult time of my life and were so kind to me. And just when I was thinking how happy I was and how I hoped that happiness would last forever, you disappeared. Thank goodness it was just a dream. Hmm. I wonder if the memory...
I guess magic doesn't work on King Jean, does it? <laughs> Is he talking about 1,000 years ago? Maybe Jean also returned to the past in his dream. Don't ever disappear on me, Jandy. His voice was pleading. If you leave Nivellam, then take me with you. You can't say things like that. You're the king. I kissed his hair smoothingly. And of course, I won't disappear. I know. Sorry for saying weird things. The sadness Jean bare inside was deep. And possibly he could never get rid of completely. But perhaps I could feel heal his wounds with my love, bit by bit. Whenever there's doubt in his heart, I'll erase it. I squeezed his hand back tightly. Wow. I wonder where this is. Since it was on the way, we got out of the carriage in the town near the Vala to do some sightseeing. This land all belongs to Orlando. He lived as a noble before coming to the castle, didn't he? Yeah. He, was, he attended many parties at the castle, and we became friends. I guess we didn't become friends. Orlando isn't the type to strive only conversation himself. But whenever I've been in trouble, he's rescued me, even if he did complain about it the whole time. One day, he suddenly turned up with a suitcase and announced that he was going to work at the castle. I think he can leave you on your own. Jean continued to talk about the past as we walked, until we saw a well-dressed man coming towards us. Oh. Uh, I let out a gasp when I saw the man's face. It's him. Wait! I have a very good idea who it is. Is it that guy? It was a servant who had run away from Nephilim 1,000 years earlier. I knew it! The man who had been terrified of Jean. Seeing my shock, Jean looked in the direction I was staring. I wonder if Jean remembers him. Jean stared at the man for a moment, then finally his eyes widened with recognition. Timothy? His name is Timothy. Is that the man's name? When the man noticed Jean, his face stiffened. But he showed no sign of running away, and instead walked slowly towards us. He doesn't seem afraid of Sean like he did in the past. Instead, his eyes glimmered with deep sadness. Sean smiled calmly at him. It's been a while. I'm glad to see you looking well. Tears welled up in the man's eyes at Sean's words. I... I've always regretted what I did. Even though you'd always been nothing but good to me, I betrayed you. What's done is done. Sean spoke as though it was no big deal. I was shocked at the time, too. But when I think about it from your point of view, it was only natural for you to run. You must not have wanted to work beside a man with such a dangerous power. So don't worry about it. No. The man shook his head. If you had been in my position, you would never run away. I agree. Let's be honest, what could make Jean run away? <sighs> wow, this ending is... <sighs> After this ending in two parts. I'm sorry, everyone. I'll be, I'll be right back. <laughs>